SGC here, and we are back with a movie review. Judge, a 2013 Japanese comedy film directed by Akira Nagai, and it stars Satoshi Tsumabuki and Keiko Kitagawa. Pretty much, that's the two main leads, and the reason why I even watched this. So what's this film about? Well basically it's about an advertising firm and they have this whole advertising summit thing and they submit videos or commercials internationally and they have to vote on the top 10 and somehow our main character played by Satoshi is thrown into the mix and he drags Kiko along with him and that's pretty much the entire film. So what's there to like about this film? Well first off I really did enjoy the whole advertising realm as in they really played up the exaggeration and the artistic license of the whole Japanese really you know you've seen those Japanese commercial where it's super weird but it's kind of awesome and you just sort of continue to watch it well there's that and there's a lot of stereotypes especially for how Americans think Japanese people are and I mean I, I I see that and it's just exaggerated to the point of just like that's hilarious and I like I would plausibility slimly think that could have existed but it was just fun I mean like sure it you could call it racist or whatever but I mean these people see Japanese people in this way and it's you know stereotypes are somewhat true anyways and I think that's the biggest thing as in this whole advertising thing was just fun exaggerated and it was kind of really awesome and it was awesome just to see the two leads back on the big screen I haven't seen them in a while because I haven't seen any Japanese dramas lately so pretty much it was just like my reason to watch it and another impressive thing is that this movie I swear is the most English I heard in a Japanese film ever like as in they actually went to the states probably to film this because there's a lot of like Caucasian actors and it just doesn't feel like it was filmed in Japan and I would say like props to them for doing that I mean if it isn't somebody tell me below like, as in like no they did not go to Japan did not go to the states to film all this which I mean I wouldn't know but it was convincing enough that I was like yeah they went to, to the states and had a lot more English than your typical Japanese comedy film I mean in terms of story you don't really expect much I mean Satoshi plays the dude that's really like failing out and he has to prove himself and he's like oh I gotta do the right thing and it does kind of go preachy in a sense and that's sort of like why I didn't like it as in like it's it, the moral lesson here is kind of like like I know you're trying to get to that moral lesson but your exaggeration of everything else sort of like doesn't play as meshingly well with the moral lesson as in like you're really supposed to be super exaggerated so your moral lesson is super serious all of a sudden so I, I don't know what they were trying to do with that moral lesson like I mean it gets really like heavy-handed and it's just like 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 we get it you don't have to repeat it that much and so uh, yeah I guess that's one of the things I didn't like as in like they didn't really have a balance as in um, sometimes it just felt it was like super exaggerated or super serious and also another thing is that uh, Kiko's character who has this really weird character development throughout the film I would say that as her she does it well as in she portrays that character well I mean but then but then the whole development as to like where she started in the beginning of the film and where she ended which is like that can't be possible like there wasn't enough time for her to develop in this way convincingly enough and I sort of wish that there was more actual screen time for her because I mean there is a lot of screen time for a lot of other people in this film but not as much for your main lead which is kind of weird and it's just that her character is not convincing enough in the beginning as she's not really she's just ex like playfully exaggerated to some crazy standard of like she's amazing but it's never proven that she's like why is she like this and I just felt that there could have been a lot more screen time dedicated to her character and I just felt that it was more of like oh let's go everywhere and film everything but let's not really let's keep her sort of like on the sidelines despite the fact she's the main cast but in terms of the Satoshi I would say that he held it well I think in terms of Satoshi he played it well I enjoyed his uh, chemistry between all the characters and I mean if you've seen anime you you know the whole like idealistic vibe of characters and it's, and it's there and I, I, I appreciate what he brought to the table and yeah, so basically this movie was fun last, but sometimes it just felt like, is this is this really happening? And sometimes the laughs are kind of like really forced. And one major thing is that the English cast really did not do it for me in the end of the movie, where it felt like their, their dialogue was like just really badly written. Because I mean, in the beginning of the film, it felt more realistic as in like yeah they actually talk like normal Caucasians but in the end it felt like he was reading a script or something and it was just 
written by someone that normally does not speak English in terms of the, the vibe that they were carrying and it was just, oh, what a bad ending sort of thing. I mean, I get where this movie is trying to get, but it's just sometimes the fact that it's such an exaggerated film, it sort of defeats itself pretty much. And this film, seriously, when advertising relies on stereotypes and exaggerations and taken seriously and it's just to be enjoyed and you shouldn't think too much and I think it was it was good when I watched it and I didn't think that much about it and it was a fun time and I just it was just awesome seeing Kiko and Satoshi on the screen and I mean I enjoyed their acting and that's the basic reason why I even showed up at this film and yeah I was enjoy I was satisfied and that's pretty much all I needed so yeah as always leave your comments below if you have anything to say I will get back to you as soon as possible and that is it for this movie review on Judge.